This midterm finger puppet management presentation is brought to you by Core Management, a group of five students from the Summer 2016 Principles of Management course. This presentation will provide introduction to the general idea of our show, the characters, the management concepts employed, and the roles each member contributed to the project. The name of our TV show is a fruit basket, and it will show some of the problems that might arise when a group of fruits with different personalities come together to work on a big project. The fruit basket takes place in a medium-sized office building in the middle of Fruit Town, USA. On the third floor of the building is where you will find fresh fruit financing, where financial analysts work hard on projects. On the fourth floor, you can find fruit resources, which will step in occasionally to resolve major issues. The premium fruits, the bosses, are felt and not seen only making calls to the manager when necessary. The show is geared toward young to middle aged adults who either have experience working in groups and offices or want to see what it's like. The show does not revolve around just one character's interaction with the world around them, rather a group of characters who are personified fruits working in the same office. Each fruit has their own personality and flaws which cause problems in the work environment. And the manager, as the show goes on, will have to use his skills to resolve the issues that arise. By the end of the show, all conflicts will have been resolved and fresh fruit financing will be operating at maximum efficiency. The show will have a balance of comedy to keep the audience entertained and balance of serious moments when tensions rise and conflicts must be resolved. The perspective of the show will be similar to that of the popular show Parks and Recreation, allowing the audience to see the interactions in the office in their natural state. Occasionally, there will be confessional perspectives to capture the more personal thoughts of the characters in regard to the situations. The show is digitally drawn and animated, including voiceovers. Fresh Root Financing has a flat organizational structure, so even large problems fall on the shoulders of the manager to resolve them, with the premium fruits and fruit resources rarely stepping in. Each episode will present a problem that affects the work environment. We will examine the possible solutions, and a solution will be employed and then reflected upon. The overall theme of the show is conflict management. However, every episode consists of different management concepts such as office culture, sexual harassment, discrimination, lazy employees, and intergroup conflict. We will see examples of how the course concepts will be integrated into the plot further into the presentation. The Fruit Basket consists of six main characters, a manager and five financial analysts who all have their own quirks, personalities, and attributes that contribute to the overall tone of the office and may cause some problems to arise. In addition to the six main characters that will be presented in the next few slides, some supporting characters will occasionally appear such as Tasha Tangerine, Gary Grapefruit, Pan Peach, Larry Lemon, Stacey Strawberry, and Peter Plum. Paul Pineapple is the manager of the office. Paul is generally an introvert, always keeping his thoughts to himself. He prefers to stay in his office unless something is needed of him outside. Paul is not afraid to get his hands dirty though and is happy to lend a helping hand to those in need. He is very observant and keeps a watchful eye. Paul is very well respected in the office for his very approachable but professional demeanor. However, due to his affinity to keep to himself, not many people know much about his personal life and therefore he remains a very ambiguous fruit to the rest of the office. Benedict Banana is an older fruit covered in brown spots with a comical gray mustache, bushy eyebrows, and large glasses. He is a dedicated worker having been loyal to the company for quite some time now. However, Benedict tends to hit on the younger female fruits, most often Ashley, which tends to lead to complaints to fruit resources. Benedict is a very confident individual who will not go a day without say, saying a pickup line to the nearest female fruit. Because of his flirtatious nature, he has on more than one occasion aroused suspicion and has been called unprofessional. Walter Watermelon is kind of the butt of the joke around the office, often picked on mostly by Carl. Walter is a bit timid and has a hard time standing up for himself when tensions rise. Walter likes his boss, Paul, as Paul usually defends Walter when the other employees get on his back. Walter is actually incredibly smart, often miles ahead of his co-workers in terms of work ethic. He is a very humble fruit, but hasn't been given much attention in the office unless it's for making jokes. He lives a simple life, but sometimes longs for much more adventure to give him a spark. Carl Cantaloupe is one of the younger fruits. He likes to spend a lot of his time at the juicer lifting weights and trying to get bigger. He tends to joke around a lot with other employees, but doesn't realize how hurtful his jokes can be. 
Carl is a bit more aggressive than the other co-workers, and it is suspected that he is actually taking GMOs to enhance himself. The staff fears for him easily triggered temper in his hurtful humor. Carl actually became so addicted to weightlifting because of insecurities of how mediocre he was as a young fruit. However, due to his transformation, he has lost sight of humility and has become a much more arrogant fruit who believes he must reap the fruits of his labor. Ashley Apple is a young and spirited, somewhat ditzy fruit. She loves to talk, shop, and take way too many selfies when she should be working. She tends not to respect her fellow employees or her superiors all that much, often gossiping about them to other fruit around the workplace. Though when she finally does get to work, she gets her work done quickly and efficiently. Ashley also wears apple bottom jeans and insists they are still fashionable. Ashley is a selfish extrovert, constantly making sure she is first priority. She loves talking about herself and this hinders her relationship with her coworkers. Though she is willing to pull her weight when she lacks the need to make the company number one on her list. Because of her selfish attitude, she tends to make decisions that most benefit herself and not the office. Also due to her gossiping, she has created tension between the other fruits and has even stretched a story to create unnecessary drama for her own amusement. Omar is a somewhat lazy fruit, generally waiting until the last minute to get work done. Oftentimes, Omar is late to work, takes too many breaks, and has trouble remembering what he is supposed to be doing. However, due to his more appealing attitude, he is an office favorite. Omar and Ashley get along pretty well as Omar doesn't mind Ashley's gossiping and Ashley enjoys Omar's relaxed nature. Omar is a well-appreciated employee as he keeps the office laughing and buzzing with energy with his jokes and lax attitude. Due to his charming personality, a lot of female fruits in the office have a slight attraction to his persona. However, since he is so laid back, he tends to never pick up on the signs, carrying on with his day with an aura of obliviousness to his female co-workers. As mentioned, each episode will present a conflict that will be resolved by the end of the episode. In addition to the overall concept of conflict resolution, we will incorporate other concepts that can be found in our textbook. Over the course of the show, we will see differentiation and integration employed as the various parts of fresh food finance and cooperate, and Paul must divide up the major tasks according to the specialized skills the fruits possess. The organizational structure will also be observed as we see who takes orders from whom. The following slides contain an outline of concepts we will include in our episodes. The overall culture of fresh fruit financing is easygoing, which causes problems when professional lines get crossed and performance suffers. The fruits have accepted Paul's withdrawn, low involvement approach to management and do basically whatever they want without consequence. Low context culture means that the context of each situation have little impact on how the fruits behave. We will see that at fresh fruit financing, the fruits have no regard for the professional setting and reflects in their behaviors. In the pilot episode, Fresh Fruit, we will see how the fruit behave prior to any reform taking place. One form of sexual harassment involves creating a hostile environment through actions, jokes, touching, comments, pictures, and other means of communicating unwanted sexual innuendos. In the episode of Peeling Pills, Benedict Banana continues to make inappropriate comments and gestures towards Ashley Apple. She complains to the manager, Paul Pineapple, who doesn't handle the situation properly, resulting in him getting contacted by fruit resources. Paul and Benedict will then undergo interpersonal training to better understand sexual harassment and conflict resolution. We will also observe the moral intensity factors of Paul, Benedict, and Larry, who all have different perspectives on the situation at hand. To increase productivity of the project, a task force is made. However, intergroup conflicts arise. Walter Watermelon, because of his personal problems with Carl Cantaloupe, is not motivated to stay on the task force. Carl's insensitive nature and inability to see the error in his ways results in a big problem arising. In efforts to resolve the issue, Paul Pineapple holds a problem-solving conference. In comparing apples to oranges, Paul uses a graphic rating scale to measure the quality of work being produced, and soon finds out that Omar and Ashley are the source of low productivity. In order to equally punish the two fruits, he interviews them to see which one he should remove from the project, hoping the punishment will decrease the lack of days to go approach the fruits have towards their assignment. Upon doing this, the fruits claim the punishments were based off discrimination. Goodbye, Fruit Well serves as a reflective episode in which the fruits come together and view the progress development at the completion of the project. 
Over the course of the show, French Street Financing has reformed their code of ethical conduct, outlining the types of behavior that are and are not acceptable. To ensure that the fruits continue to produce great results, the organizational structure now divides projects into coordinated tasks. Fresh Fruits organizational development changed in a way that focused on the behaviors of the fruits as well as the interrelationships in the office. As voice specialists, the members of the group have added to the dynamic of the show. The different voices solidify that the fruit basket is a congregation of different personalities. As the graphic and animation specialist, Christian took on the challenging task of making the show visually appealing to the audience. As plot specialists, the members of the group all contributed to the de development of the plot in order to make the show interesting, humorous, and managed to incorporate the management concepts.